Hey guys, Benefit here, and today I'm bringing you another Mantis Shrimp set, and this one is actually pretty good, so I'm, I'm very proud of this one. I came up with this about two or three days ago. I was, I was sitting downstairs in the shower, and I was thinking, how can I make Mantis Shrimp better? I mean, the Choice Spec set does work, but he's too slow to really reap the benefits of it in anything really I mean he can he can nuke I guess he can he can come in and clean up on people but other than that he, he doesn't really serve the sweeper purpose I want him to serve so I came up with this set right here and in UU it works perfectly I haven't tried it in OU yet but in UU where it's right now if you guys play UU it is nothing but stall toxic substitute you know bulk yourself up so that way you can take hits forever and make the other guy forfeit. That's the only kind of battles I've been running into. I've not been seeing many super offensive threats other than I saw, let me see, Sceptile, I saw Swamper, and I saw um, Noivern. Those are about the only three really offensive threats I've been seeing. Although, Life Orb Arcanine seems to be a thing. Anyhow, guys, so here's Mantis Shrimp again. Toxicroak with Black Sludge, Dry Skin to get that immunity to water. Nasty Plot, Substitute, Vacuum Wave, and Sludge Wave. The Nasty Plot subset is perfect. It, it you can switch or you can sub up whenever you feel toxics coming or a burn or anything like that. Because most of the time you're gonna outspeed people in UU because they're super bulky and super slow. This is an amazing set. I absolutely adore it. Here's Flappy. You guys have seen him before. Power Herb, Acrobatics, Knockoff, Rock Slide, Sky Attack. Just an all-around really good set, really fast, really hard-hitting. Next up is Usain, the Flygon with Choice Scarf, Levitate, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Bug Bite, and U-Turn Bug Bite because Sub Harvest Trevenant is a thing, and I really, really hate Citrus Berry so much, or even Lumberry because that is even more annoying. So I go ahead and I Bug Bite first turn so he can't get a Harvest on the Citrus Berry. Next up is Ronald, McDonald went and fit, Leftovers Immunity, Snorlax. Now, you're wondering why immunity instead of thick fat. Well, I'm running 100 in special defense, so I only take like 25% from an ice beam. It, it's not, there's no real worry here about special attacks at all. In fact, from a choice uh, specs, Noivern and Air Slash only does, I think, 34%. So this set is, this set is so bulky. Body Slam, Return, Curse, and Earthquake. It's a very classic set. Next up is Musashi the Gallade, Assault Vest, Close Combat, Dragon Punch, Shadow Sneak, and Poison Jab. Again, a very common, very basic set. And the next up is my set for Amoongus. It's Barry, the Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, Toxic, Synthesis. Now, a lot of people run Ingrain instead of Synthesis because and you, you, you don't want to switch out. You just want to sit there and take hits all day, which Barry can do. And also, most people uh, in UU run Effects War because the only counter to Amoongus really is an Arcanine, because it's so specially defensive that a Noivern can do a lot if it gets a crit. If it gets a crit, then Synthesis isn't going to work. So the best the best way to run Barry, I feel, is with Synthesis, although most UU players I've seen and experienced will say that Angrain is the way to go. I don't know. So we're going to jump into this right here. It is on fast because, like every other battle I've had in UU, it is super slow. So he... Has Gastrodon, I know it has Ice Beam, so I'm going to switch out with U-Turn into Mantis Shrimp. He actually stockpiles, which was weird for me. I thought for sure he'd just go ahead and take out Flygon there. I'm going to go ahead and sub and see how much this Ice Beam is going to do. It's going to do more than 25%, so I don't want to stay in with Mantis Shrimp. So I'm going to switch out into Amoongus knowing that this Ice Beam is going to do absolutely nothing to me. And so I'm just going to go ahead and Giga Drain. It was basically my only play. It, he's going to switch into Sceptile, which doesn't take it all too well, but it takes it well enough. And I know that he's probably going to switch out, so I'm just going to go for Sludge Wave because it'll hit everyone on his team decently, even that Drapion. So he's going to switch into Arcanine. I'm like, okay, from past experience, this thing is Life Orb. I'm going to go into Flappy for the resist. And wow, that did way too much damage. That has to be Max Attack. That was incredible. I was like, okay, so E-Speed's probably going to take me out, but it doesn't. I actually live it. So, Sky Attack is, I mean, that massive 2% there, you know. Zeptile's going to come in, and I'm like, ah, eh, there's nothing I can do here. So, he's going to take me out, and I noticed that he's a Life Orb, so I I need to get as much damage on him as possible. Here comes the Noivern, and I'm actually able to get a good max roll and get a decent amount of Sludge Wave damage onto the Noivern. That is huge. Now, right here, I realize that he is Choice Specs, and then I need to get the heck out of there and into Snorlax to take those Air Slashes, because Super Effective Air Slash is going to hurt badly. He switches into Gastrodon here. I get a free curse on this. 
So that's fine. And this is where the Snorlax semi sweep starts to happen. So Gastrodon goes ahead and he stockpiles. And I'm like, oh, this is perfect. I can get a body slam on you, get you paralyzed, and then hope and pray to the Hax Gods that I can get enough paralysis that your recovers don't even matter. He's going to go for Scald. I don't really care about that. I can take those all day, and luckily he doesn't get a burn, but there's one recover up, and I'm like, I can still wheedle you down, I'm alright with this, and that min-max roll right there, that 40% on a return, that was that was huge. He's going to go for another Scald, I'm just going to go for the return and take him out, which is perfect. <clears throat> so he's going to switch into Drapion, I do carry Earthquake, which is great, because that Swords Dance means nothing now. He's going to make the smart play and go into Umbreon here and effectively wall me out. I, it's like a solid 20 turns of nothing but me trying to hit this Umbreon. The thing is, we're both rocking Curse. So the mental game here is, Umbreon likes to carry Payback. It's Stab, and it gets boosted two times from its base 50 to 100 power if you are hit. <clears throat> so... The idea behind this Umbreon set is actually glorious. It is to trap someone like me, like this Snorlax, in so that way I am faster than it and then use payback. So this is the game right now that we're playing. I know that I am slower naturally, so I don't have to get as many curses up as he does to stay slow. So the game right now is basically stay slower than Umbreon, yet... I mean, decently attacking enough to do damage to it. And the best part about this is, the only kind of recovery move that Umbreon can carry is Wish. So it is a two-turn thing. So my best bet is to either get a crit, or get a get a way where I can switch. Get a Paralyze Hacks thing going on where he's at low enough health where I can switch. So I make sure that he's always faster than me. I make sure so that way I can still do damage to him and keep my Snorlax alive. That is the big issue. That Noivern is still out on the field, that Sceptile is still on the field. If that Sceptile has Leaf Storm, the only thing that can really take that effectively is Amoongus, and it might die at 75%, which it should be at because of Regenerator. It will die if Noivern gets a crit, and so I need to keep Snorlax alive, and then this right here is the perfect chance. 18% health. I know the Wish is going to come in, so he's going to get 50%, but that's fine. Mantis Shrimp can come in. He can Vacuum Wave, but he's specially defensive, not physically defensive like I thought he was. But luckily, he gets a Parahex there. I can go for the special attack boost. Payback will not take me out simply because I didn't attack him. If I would have attacked him with Vacuum Wave, I would have been taken out. He goes for the Wish, which was not a good play after getting the special attack boost, because even without the crit, if I would have got a good min-max roll on that, it would have been taken out. So here comes this Noivern. I know it's faster than me, so I'm going to have to go for Vacuum Wave. It does a decent amount, and this gives me a free switch into Flygon, where he is Choice Specs and I am Choice Scarf. I'm able to take out that Noivern. Here comes the Sceptile. One Dragon Claw is enough. That Hidden Power Ice is going to take me out, but he's going to die to Life Orb Recoil no matter what. So there goes the Focus Blast, and I actually live it. But he dies to Life Orb Recoil. That was a really close game. It was a lot of fun. Yu Yu, you might see a little bit more from me. I don't know. I like running more offensive teams in Yu Yu because it throws people off guard where they're used to playing defensive against defensive. So, anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Bennett Ferret. Sucker punch that like button, and I will see you guys next time.